Hello internet, my name is Lauren King. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be letting boys on Tinder decide what I eat for a day. I don't even have Tinder. I had to download the app, I made an account, I swiped right on every single person that I saw because I'm not trying to date these guys. I just want them to tell me what to eat for the day. I did a video a few weeks ago and it was called something like letting the stranger in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours. So in that one I just drove through drive throughs and I asked the cashier to give me exactly what the person in front of me ordered. This whole Tinder match option unlocks a world of restaurant opportunities that aren't necessarily drive through I'm not looking to date any of these guys. I'm a little nervous because I haven't been on a dating app in years. I'm gonna obviously not go on dates with anyone, but I hope they're nice when I ask them, hey, sorry, no, I don't wanna meet up, but can you tell me what I should eat for lunch? It's a little bit weird. Right now I really need coffee. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ask my matches what I should drink, and whoever responds first, I will drink that drink. How do I get there? What do I even say? This person says chow. So this person says, <laughs> well, he's basically saying if I want to get a bite in a few hours, he'll be in LA. He's driving down from Vegas now. So I'm going to say, sorry, can't today, but maybe you can help me decide what to order. And I'm really hoping to get like an iced coffee or an iced chai latte. Ooh, iced dirty chai latte. That's my drink for summer. That's what I'm hoping to get, but you know, maybe it'll give me something new to try. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I like this guy, he sent me a picture of like a baby lamb or like a baby goat or something. Ah, this is so awkward, okay. I hope someone responds. They're so quick when we match to text me and then they don't ever respond. Oh, dating apps suck. So I'm just gonna start walking to coffee and assume that by the time I get there, someone will respond. So, let's go. So Faisal is the first person to respond and he says that I have to get a hot latte with coconut milk. So I woke up kind of late today and I feel like I need to order lunch now if I'm going to hopefully be hungry for dinner. So I've asked the boys what I should eat for lunch. They're pretty vague, like one guy said pasta, one guy said Italian, and I think it's because there's a photo of me eating pasta in my Tinder profile, so I think that they've been influenced, but that's okay, I like pasta. Dylan says, me specifically, I would order angel hair with olive oil, garlic, and kalamata olives, but pasta is a day-by-day -day thing. This is the most specific answer I've received so far, so I'm going to check Postmates and see if I can't find myself some garlic olive oil angel hair, which by the way, sounds amazing. I'm excited for this. Seems like a Greek thing, but I don't know any Greek spot that would have pasta. And alas, Kalamata angel hair. There is one at Novo Cafe. I'm gonna modify the pasta and say no capers. That way, it's just garlic and olive oil and olives. So I had to add the mini cannoli because I had to meet the order minimum. But now we're rocking and rolling. These challenges are perfect for me because I am so indecisive. Does anyone else do this? Like if you're really, really hungry, you're home alone. I end up scrolling through Postmates for like two or three hours sometimes without ordering anything. I don't know what it's called, like decision paralysis. And then I'll look at photos on Instagram and then I'll look at the Yelp page and then I just, I never decide and it takes me three hours and then I finally have to just outsource my decision and phone a friend. That's why I'm kind of loving this right now. Like angel hair sounds great. My latte could have been cold. It's kind of hot outside, but I still fuck with it. So I'm really excited to see what dinner brings. I hope someone recommends something amazing. Cannoli. Complimentary bread. Angel hair with garlic and basil and calamari olives. Let's give this a try. Mmm, 
smells so good. Mmm! The olives are like a very interesting addition. I definitely like the bites without the olives better, but this is still really good and it doesn't feel too heavy. Like, you know, sometimes pasta makes you too full. I feel like this is like a nice light dish, like a good summer pasta dish. I might as well try the cannoli. It looks good. There's like huge chunks of what looks like dark chocolate. It's not soggy at all. I mean, it looks really good. Mmm. Oh my God. That's the best cannoli I've ever had in my life. And it's not too heavy. Like the cream is really light and fluffy. Oh my God. I love this. So now it's time for dinner and I mean honestly, I kind of just ate lunch so I'm not super hungry but if I'm gonna have to cook something then I want to know now so I can just like go to the store and get it over with. So opening back up my handy dandy Tinder app. Hi, what should I have for dinner? Okay, so I'll copy this. And I'm gonna send it to a few more guys. And now we wait. So progress report, I had to unmatch a few guys because they just said very politely, but like, oh, it's up to you. It's based on your preference. And I'm like, no, but I need you to tell me exactly what to get. In and out, perfect. Sounds good. Exactly what did you order? Bing, 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 bing. We have a winner. We're doing In-N-Out for dinner. 10 p.m. Going to In-N-Out in my pajamas on a Saturday night. Wild, acting up. Yo, the line is so long. Look at all of these cars. They're all waiting to get into the In-N-Out lot. This is crazy. It's really popping. So just to remind everyone, we need to get a double-double, no onions, no tomato, no fries, and no drink. There's about three or four more people ahead of me, but if I were to come, I would probably get a vanilla shake and a cheeseburger with grilled onions. That's not what I'm getting today, though. That's fine, I don't need fries. The fries aren't that good here anyway. <laughs> Someone just honked at me, I don't know why. They honked at me and then they like cut me in line. Hi, uh, may I please have a double double, no onions, no tomato? Mm -hmm. That's it. Any fries or drink? Uh, no, thank you. I want this be for the car. Uh, yes, please. Perfect. Double, no tomato, no onion for the car. 476, please, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got the burger. It's looking kind of dry. Hmm. I mean, you can't really go wrong with In-N-Out. I think that Tinder has played its role. I used to think that nothing good could ever come out of a dating app, and I still think that, but I am grateful to all the random stranger men who helped me pick my meals today. Without you, where would I be? Probably eating sweet green salad and Thai food. Goodbye, Tinder. You served me well. So now with Tinder deleted, all traces gone from my phone, I'm gonna enjoy my in and out in peace. Hope you guys have a good night. I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and comment down below what type of videos you wanna see next. Good night. Like it's new.